How's Dad's back? Looks like Lou's been doing a little Halloween decorating. Let's let her out, though. Hope she was safe. Looks good. All right, Mom. I love you. Tell Dad uh, we're uh, thinking of him, and we'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Oh, hey, Mom. What's up, buddy? Oh, wow. This place is looking nice and spooky. Hi, Big. Playing Star Wars? Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, Kate, what's up? Hey, hey baby. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's your mom? Uh, she's she's doing okay, yeah. uh, but she was telling me about their neighbor. They were putting up Halloween decorations yeah. and uh, fell off the ladder. What? Broke his hip. No way. That's like the fourth person we know that's fallen off the ladder. I know. If I didn't know any better. I think ladders are out to get us or something. Yeah. You yeah. better be careful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You better be careful. <laughs> nothing to laugh about or or you know somebody could be going around pushing people off of ladders no <laughs> yeah you know promise me that uh next time i climb a ladder that you'll uh, spot me oh yeah like you're gonna let me help you <laughs> yeah true that's true all right well hey guys you mind if i play some uh sure what are y'all playing we're, we're playing, playing shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. Okay. Wait, well, hey, y'all be careful with those ladders. Nobody needs to be falling off a ladder, okay? Okay. <laughs> you might hurt yourself, break your hip or something. You're crazy. All right, I'm in. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Down the street. <gasps> what? What is going on around here? Are you guys trying to see how messy we can make this place? <laughs> what on earth? It wasn't me, Dad. Say you must have done it. No, it wasn't me, Dad. Jerry must have done it. Hush, Bows. I'm trying to figure out who's making all this mess. I'm sure there's some little sprite that comes along and destroys our rooms when no one's looking. Well, I don't believe in sprites, but it sure wasn't me. I'm going to find out who did it. You better! <laughs> You're not my boss, Sadie. Okay, all right. Let's just, let's get this place cleaned up. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Jackson, your room too? Then it wasn't me. Oh boy, here we go. No, really, it wasn't me. I bet it was Jameson or some kind of mess making alien or Sprite. I'm going to investigate. Okay, well, I tell you what, you got to stop reading those Dogman books before bedtime, you yeah. hear me? Got it. Okay, well, all right. What a mess. Hey, get in there and start cleaning up, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Brother. Man, it's just crazy how many people have been involved in ladder accidents like that. It's nuts. That's really odd. Like, you hear about it every now and then, but it seems like recently it's just been everybody. It's like everybody we know has somebody who's fallen off a ladder and not just fallen, but like gotten hurt. Hurt themselves. Yeah. That's what's scary. It's crazy. Ugh, I'm not getting on a ladder. Yeah, well, we just need to be careful. Mm. No ladders for you at work either. No Sorry. ladders for me. <laughs> I need you too much. No ladders for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Sure's odd, isn't it? Ha! <laughs> this woman in the book fell off a ladder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave it to Stephanie Plum to fall Stephanie off a ladder. Stephanie Plum making people fall off ladders. That's odd. That's really weird, right? It's weird. That's hey, part of hey speaking of weird, if you like watching your next files. How long have we been married? Uh, right. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just going to go to sleep. You can watch it. Okay. Good night. Love you. Better with the lights off.
next video, I will be sure to bye. Hello, Agent Sadie. Yes, she'll be right here. You need to head down to Jackson's office. Yes, ma'am. She better. Yep. Uh-huh. Dude, I can't believe... Oh, oh, sorry. One minute. I'll call you back. Goodbye. Good morning, Agent Clara. Do you want to tell me what's so important that you interrupted my morning meeting with S Assistant Director Sadie? There's been a spike in the number of ladder-related incidents in North Texas area recently. Here, look. Watch this dude. He was skateboarding, see? Okay. So what? 500,000 people are injured from falling from ladders every year. 97% occur at people's homes. That's the perfect example. It's Halloween and COVID season. People are having spirits, glug, glug, and hanging up Halloween decorations. It's the perfect recipe for disaster. Well, that may be so, but let's localize to a very small area in northeast Texas. This is worthy of the FBI's attention. Can't local law look, enforcement look into it? They have, and they haven't. Turned up any leads. Grab our boots and saddle up. We're headed to Texas. Yeah. Yippee ki yay. Tell me about the night you fell off the ladder. Well, I was taking up some Halloween decorations that we didn't need, uh, that we didn't feel like putting out uh, back up in the attic. And uh, and as I was ascending the stairs, I felt the ladder start to shake and I was thrown backwards. Mrs. Wall, did you happen to see anybody at the bottom of the stairs with um, fair skin and red hair? Oh boy. No, no, I was alone, I think. My family was around back putting up decorations. So nobody was in the area to see you fall? No, no one. Mrs. Wall, did you happen to have any spirits the night you fell? I had a glass or maybe two of Arbor Mist. Why? Mm-hmm. Oh, nothing. Well, uh, um, uh... Hello, Assistant Director Sadie. How may I help you? There's been another incident at the March is residence. You and Agent Kirk must head out over there right now. Uh-huh. Got it. Well, you can count on us, ma'am. And you better! Mr. Wall, can you tell me about the evening you fell off the ladder? Well... I was hanging an eave on the side of my barn. I grabbed the frame and began to climb when I felt the ladder jerk beneath me. It fell backwards and I knew I'd broken my damn back. Yes, 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 yes. Did you have any spirits that afternoon? Well, I hadn't had any beer because my son-in-law Brant had drank it all. Oh, no. But I did drink some Arbor Mist. Uh. Yes. We love our mess. We love it. Have you had any? You should try some. Uh huh. I know what you're thinking, but it wasn't like that. I'm not a moron. It felt like someone tugged the damn ladder right out from beneath me. I know you didn't mean it. 
Mr. Wongle, did you um perhaps see a small figurine with fair skin and red hair? No, no, I don't think it did. But I did hear a child singing. Ha! <laughs> Probably just that ringing in my head because I'm going deaf. He is. He's going very deaf, very deaf. Thank you both for your time. And if you just need us, call us on those cords. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. Thanks, bye. FBI, Mike, what's going on, Mike? FBI? Oh, my goodness. Damn conspiracies. Who is that on the phone? Lady Sadie, there's been another incident just a few miles away. Another ladder incident? <laughs> You don't think there are causes for these falls other than Halloween spirits? No, I can think of many other reasons. Vertigo, ear infections, other medications known to cause dizziness. I'm talking about the paranormal, outside of normal, irrational reasoning. In this case, a supernatural encounter. Supernatural? <laughs> You're kidding. Irish Traditions describes the event of a small frame, red-headed, fair-skinned sprite that would go around playing tricks on the villagers. What? A leprechaun? <laughs> Call what you will, but people of the town began to fall at record rates. Due to the pranks of one wee laddie, common tongue for small ladder, the phrase was confused by those outside of the village and linked the term to young boys. You're telling me lads were originally ladders and these Irish villagers were tormented by sprites and not from having a wee nip of too much whiskey? Well, perhaps, but yes, the constant trigger of the sprite was transformed to leprechauns as the trick led to people leaping from their ladders to avoid hurting themselves from falling. The term sprite originates from a form of electric discharge that is some emitted upwards from the top of a columbus, columbus cloud during a thunderstorm at the same time that lightning strikes downward at the usual appears as a red head, red or reddish orange flash of light, much like the quick, often unseen action of a leprechauns. Leprechauns. I don't know what to say. Say yeehaw and let's mosey on down the trail to the next victim. Victim? I think I'm the victim here. Let's go. Yeah, move along, little doggies. I think you mean wee doggies. Yeah. 
Who? Special Agent Clara. Oh my goodness. Oh. We just want to ask you a few questions. What does the FBI care about me falling off the ladder? What do you think? This is some kind of international attack on the U.S. or something? No, we're actually investigating the possibility of existence of what? extraterrestrials, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness monster. The Loch Ness monster. That's crazy. Well. Do you know I was using a 12 foot ladder? And I had a few drinks while I was up there. <laughs> and that's when I fell down. So we uh, was trying to get up on the ladder to hang Halloween decorations. You know, it's our favorite holiday. We love all that spooky stuff. And, you know, ghosts and goblins. Spooky, spooky. He's wrong. There was someone thing there. Can you like describe it to me? I only caught a glimpse of it, but he was up to no good. Thanks for the information. So yeah, we made a spooky graveyard one time with some zombies coming out the ground. He always likes to get on his all that information we need. Here's your card. Give us a call if you need us. I'll be sure to give you a call if a werewolf or a chupacabra shows up. Ha! Happy Halloween! Thank you, young man. I'll make sure I put that in my Rolodex. Thank you. Please say, Agent Jackson, the only monsters here are too, is too many spirits. Sheesh. <laughs> so you finally agree there's no sprites pushing people off ladders? Oh my gosh, you gotta stop worrying about this stuff, girl. Then we're turning, so, uh, and uh, one more thing, you gotta. Oh, here we this. Agent Clara, how can I help you? We just got an emergency call by the Wallace nosy neighbor, Miss Manda, and she said she saw a little man push Miss Walla off a ladder. And head over there! Right now! We're on our way. What is it? There's another incident at the Walla's house. Okay, let's go. mystery that remains unsolved. Some mysteries will remain in hiding. They're just not ready to be revealed. <sighs> Slept through the whole thing. I should have known it.
was you making all those messes. You're a good boy, but you make lots of messes. You're my little hurricane. Love you. Oh. <laughs>